Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title, and thank you for joining me for the Lord's Word of God today. We celebrate Yeshua, Jesus, the one that is and was and is to come, and there is no other master of the universe. Amen? Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, today's message is about how pride kills and how God loves the humble. And so if you brought your Bibles today, please turn with me to the book of Luke, chapter 18, starting in verse 9. Also, he spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes to all that I possess. And the tax collector, standing afar off, would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. See, brothers and sisters, God hates the proud, but he loves the humble. People that are not saved do not give God glory. We must acknowledge God in everything, giving him all glory and taking credit for none. Amen? Amen. And so now, brothers and sisters, the second passage we'll read is found in Matthew chapter 18. We'll start reading verse 1. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus saying, Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Then Jesus called a little child to him set him in the midst of them, and said, Assuredly, I say to you, unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So, brothers and sisters, you must be humble to be saved, to make it to the kingdom of heaven. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, the Word of God tells us that everyone proud is an abomination to the Lord. None will go unpunished. And in James chapter 4, it reads, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And in verse 10, it reads, Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Amen? Amen. And on the Sermon of the Mount, Jesus tells us, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And it means they are not proud. They know they need help and they will receive help from the Lord. Amen? Amen. Jesus goes on to tell us that blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. Like Moses, they are not puffed up, and they shall inherit the earth. This means they will judge during the thousand-year reign. Then Jesus goes on to tell us, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. You must have a pure heart to be saved, brothers and sisters. Amen? Amen. You see, a proud person will not help a poor person. They will look at him and say, why should I help someone who does not help himself? I worked for my money. The way you know if you have the Holy Spirit is because you will have the love of Jesus inside of you. Amen? Amen. Love makes the world go round. And when love stops, the world will stop. So brothers and sisters, let us continue taking Christ as our master, our teacher, our example. Believe his doctrine and obey him and keep reading up and praying up every day and keep the love of Jesus in our hearts and we'll all be with our Lord and Savior someday for eternity. Amen? Amen.